week four, lesson one. All right, so if you're reading along on your notes or you're looking at the screen, you'll see that I've given you two different teams scores. All right, and we're gonna try and compare these two teams. So the first thing you should do is compute the average or the mean, which means add up those numbers and divide by six. So if you break out your calculator and you do that, you'll figure out that this mean is 19.7, but this one is also 19.7, which doesn't then tell you very much. So instead, we're gonna look and see which team is more sort of spread out. That's what standard deviation measures. It's how far data is spread away from the mean. So just kind of glancing, which team do you think is more spread out? Um, it's definitely team one is more spread out. So we're gonna take a look at instead the standard deviation. All right, and there's this little handy-dandy chart that we're going to fill in. Um, this is the, oh, sorry about that, I forgot to switch to pen. Here we go. This is the official uh, formula. Um, I'd like you to take a look at that. Notice that you have to add up stuff because of this sigma notation. By the way, this is also sigma. This is just lowercase sigma. Um, but what this formula is saying is you're going to take each data point, you're going to subtract it from the mean and square those, and then you're going to add all of them up and divide by the number of numbers. Now, I know that sounds confusing, so instead, I've got, again, the handy-dandy chart down here, so let me show you how to fill this in. All right, first thing, okay, absolutely first, you have to find the mean. Notice that the notation there is X bar. X bar means the mean. So if you add all those up and you divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you will get 14.75. Okay, so I'm switching over to this program so that I can show you how to do this on your graphing calculator because your calculator is very, very powerful um, and it will save you so much time. So if we're going to try and fill in that chart that you have in front of you, I am going to go to the stat menu. And I'm going to hit edit, which is number one, or you can just hit enter and you'll see your lists here. So in list number one, I'm going to put my X values. So I'm going to literally type in five and enter seven and enter, et cetera. And you can watch 32 and 40. Okay, so again, your list one on the screen should look a whole heck of a lot like the chart that you're seeing on your paper. Okay, when I move over here to list two, which I have to use the right arrow, um, I'm going to put the number of times that those numbers occur in the list, right? So five occurs twice and seven occurs three times. And it looks to me like the rest occur once. Okay, so now list one is the actual numbers, list two is the frequency. All right, now list three, when I scroll over to the right, is going to be those two numbers multiplied together. All right, now I know those numbers are not difficult to, to multiply together, but your calculator will do it for you. If you go up here, you hit an up arrow, you can put in a formula so that it'll fill it in for you. So I wanted to do list one, which I hit second, and the number one times list two. So I hit second and the number two. And you can see right here that it's going to compute list one times list two. And it just automatically fills it in. There's no chance of error because the calculator is doing the demultiplication instead of you. Okay. Instead of you. All right. So now, since you already have the mean written down, the next column, list number four, is going to be X minus the mean. Okay, so again, if I just go to the right one and I go up one, I can make the entire list do a calculation for me. I want it to do list one minus the mean. And we've already determined that the mean is 14.75. And again, it fills it in for you, okay? Gorgeous, nice, neat, beautiful, okay? And for list five, all right, again, I'm looking at the table, right? I'm looking at the table. I want those numbers that it just computed, I want them squared. So I'm gonna go over one list, up one, so that list five will compute list number four 
squared. And if you hit enter, again, it does all of it for you. It's just a question of you knowing how to use your calculator. All right. And then list number five. So I'm going to scroll over to the right. I'm sorry. I'm in list number six now. List number six. I need that last column that I did multiplied by the frequency. Now, keep in mind, you have the frequency in list number two. Okay. So I'm going to be doing list five times list two and it fills it all in for you. Okay, now at the very, very bottom of list number six, all right, again, you're looking at your paper, not your calculator. On your paper, you need the total. Now, yes, you could go ahead and total those up, right? You can write them down and punch all those numbers in, but you have a calculator, a very expensive calculator in your hand. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna remember that that data that I need is in list six. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go to my list menu. And if I go over two places to the right, I will see option number five. Option number five is the sum. It will automatically add up every number that's in list number six right there. You hit enter. There is the sum. That's what goes at the very, very bottom of that particular um, column, all right? And if you look back at list two and at list three, it needs a total there as well. That's how you're going to fill those in, okay? So if we have those numbers, all right? Go ahead and fill those in. I'm gonna move it back down. And we divide by the number of data points, which is eight. The variance then is 163.1875. We're supposed to take the square root of that number in order to get standard deviation, and we should get 